Welcome to our Friday Chapel here at Emmanuel. As we continue to give thanks for this Advent season, what the Lord has done for us, let's begin with prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, what a wonderful joy it is to spend time studying your word and to sing praises to your name. Even though we don't see you, we certainly walk by faith and not by sight. And so we reflect on your word, which gives us all these wonderful promises of our forgiveness and our salvation. Send us your Holy Spirit again today to rejoice in your word and your promises to us. In your name we pray, Lord Jesus. Amen. There are a lot of descriptions of the name of Jesus, and as we look at what God's word says for today, we're going to be reflective on 1 Timothy, Paul's letter to the young pastor, chapter 1, verses 16 and 17. Paul writes there, However, for this reason, I obtained mercy, that in me, first Jesus Christ might show all longsuffering as a pattern to those who are going to believe on him for everlasting life. Now, to the King, eternal, immortal, invisible, to God alone is wise, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. The first thing that Paul is reminding Timothy here in this short section is that he was reminding Timothy that he was once an unbeliever. He was persecuting the church of God, and that's why in verse 16 he says, For this reason I obtained mercy. The Lord converted him. He, he re- showed him who he was, Jesus Christ, that he was true God, and that he had lived to die for our sins. And that's what had happened when he died on the cross and rose again. And so Paul shows, I showed this pattern to those who are going to believe on him for everlasting life. So this, the Lord used him as a pattern of how he would bring us to faith as well. We are sinful by nature. We have sinned against our Lord Jesus, and yet the Lord has brought us to faith and given us that joy of believing in him for everlasting life. The last verse here goes back to this praise of Paul to his Lord and Savior Jesus, that he is the king that he has been from eternity, that he is immortal, that he is invisible. He's ascended back into heaven. We don't see him, but he's still with us. And to God who alone is wise, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. This is a powerful section for us because it reminds us all the reasons we can praise him, not just for his wisdom that shows us how we are wise for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ, but how can he continue to show us that he is present with us, just like he was with Paul. So Jesus encourages us, doesn't matter how young we all are or how old we are, he continues to bless us with his promises, that he is walking with us, that he is continuing to remind us of his gift of forgiveness and eternal life, that we've already conquered death because Jesus lives, we will live also. And so it's a wonderful reason again today to give thanks and praise to our King. As we celebrate the season of Advent, we talk about how our King has come to us in his birth as we celebrate Christmas and how he will come again to take us home to be with him forever where we too will be immortal and we will live with our Lord Jesus face to face for all eternity I'd like to sing a song I wrote about 15 years ago it's called My Invisible Friend Invisible Friend I'm also going to be singing along with that a hymn from the supplement Immortal Invisible God Only Wise which is based on those verses we read from 1st Timothy. So, when I was young I had an invisible friend. It seemed like everyone laughed at me. All I wanted to do was everything he said Even though I knew this wasn't easy Sometimes I think you're my only real friend Like my shadow you watch every step I take You hold my hand to catch me if I fall Stay with me throughout the night until I wake. And yet 
Yes, I have an invisible friend For I can see just how much he loves me And even though you can't see my best friend I know that Jesus is real It's amazing knowing when you're alone you're not alone So then let your sight play tricks on you The Lord's not here or there but everywhere all your life he walks with you And yes I have an invisible friend For I can see just how much he loves me best friend I know that he is real immortal invisible God only wise enlightened accessible hid from our eyes most blessed, most glorious, O oh, ancient of days, almighty, victorious, your great name we praise, unresting, unhasting, and silent as light, not wanting nor wasting, you Justice like mountains, I soaring above your clouds, which are fountains of goodness and love. So, yes, I have an invisible friend, for I can see. Just how much he loves me And even though you can't see my best friend I know that Jesus is real close with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May our Lord Jesus comfort and bless you during this Advent season as we give thanks for our dearest friend, our Lord Jesus, who is with us every moment of every day. Jesus keep you. Have a great day.